because Pierce County is holding a walk up vaccination clinic this weekend. It's one of the few where you don't actually need an appointment, but if you haven't been in line, you're probably out of luck. King Five's Paris Thomas is okay. joining us live in Eatonville this morning um, where, gosh, we just see all these people in line. Paris, you have talked to people who've been out there, some people who even slept in their car. That's right. They are desperate to get their vaccination. They said they would do whatever it takes, including sleeping in their car overnight. And if you take a look, you'll see that line. You can't even see the half of it. I mean, this line goes around the corner and then some again with those people camping out overnight. And right now they are working to get a ticket. There's a check in spot right up here, as you can see, where they are getting tickets. Those tickets will secure them a, a time slot where they will be able to come back to get their vaccinations. Now, a vaccination clinic is being held right here at Eatonville High School today. It's a walk up clinic where they're hoping to vaccinate about 15 people every five to eight minutes. They only have a thousand doses to give, and they will have between 20 and 30 volunteers on hand. And we caught up with a few people, and some tell us why it was so important to be here and get their vaccination. My wife is uh, battling cancer and I got diabetes and we've been trying to get, uh, you know, the vaccine, but it's just been hard trying to find. And then they just popped up and it was like, oh, let's get in here. And then she thought it was one of those car ones, <laughs> but I was like, oh, I'll wait in line, honey, and get your ticket. So I got her ticket and we can be happy and get her vaccine now. Now you do have to qualify. Those vaccines are only available for healthcare workers, people 65 and up, and people 50 years or older living in a multi-generational home. And again, this is happening today from 9 o'clock this morning until 4 p.m. And the exceptions will be made for handicap and those people who can't get out of their cars. And uh, as I mentioned, they're getting tickets to secure a time slot. Now that time slot and that ticket will they'll come and get their first dose today. But that ticket is important because they will be able to get their second dose on the 28th with that same ticket. For now, live in Eatonville, Paris Thomas with photojournalist Jim Scott, King 5 News. Hey, Paris, I'm going to put you on the spot here for a second. Um, with the success of so many people showing up to this clinic today, are you getting any indication that they might do this again? Not, I'm not talking about for the second dose, but maybe do another clinic for another first round. Well, I do know uh, Kirk's Pharmacy, uh, the organizer, they are working to try and get another clinic set up because there are a lot of people out here where this is somewhat their last resort. They have been trying for weeks to get a vaccination to no avail, trying to sign up online. And some of these other people say, we don't have computers, we don't have anything, but we really need to get our vaccination. Yeah. So it, it, it does, there is hope that there will be future vaccinations. And then just clinics. one more question, Paris, because you said we can't even see half the line right now. So I'm wondering, has anyone been turned away yet? I mean, have they reached the end of the, of the amount of tickets that they're going to give people? I don't know if you know that, but I just, it's amazing how long that line is. Yes, the line is long and there's even traffic outside of the lines where people had to wait at least an hour or so just to get in. And so the tickets, they're our time slots. And right now they are at the end of the two to three. And only thing that's left is the three to four time slot. So that's roughly, you know, that's not even 300 slots left. And so some people might not be happy, but we're going to stay out here and try to see how things go this morning. All right, Paris and Jim, thank you so much for your reporting this morning. Really appreciate that. And it is good to see some people have this sigh of relief. So thank you so much, Paris.